Hello my quilting friends! My name is Leah Day and I have a new free motion quilting design tutorial for you today. This is Alphabet Soup and it is a very simple combination of stippling and letters. I just stitched these as block letters and I'm just running through the alphabet here just for fun but I want you to see that this is actually a little bit more challenging than you might think. When I first came up with the design, I thought, oh, super simple, you know, this is gonna be really, really easy. What I discovered as I drew this and then as I stitched it is that sometimes letters will spit you out in kind of a weird area. So you'll know where you're starting a letter, but you don't always necessarily know where you're going to end up. And because of that, you can, might end up stitching yourself into a corner. You might end up having some weird areas or leave some gaps. So this is one of those designs that's gonna be great for learning more about quilting. It's a great skill builder. Not only are we gonna build skills for travel stitching, that's stitching back over a previous line of stitching, you're also gonna get a lot of spatial orientation skills, being able to estimate your spaces being able to know when you're gonna leave a gap and figuring out a way of quilting it. So lots of creative potential here with ABC Sue. So now I wanna tackle this on my quilting frame. This is a home sewing machine on the cutie frame. And you might be wondering why this looks a little bit different. This looks a little odd. I have done a complete carriage upgrade here. So the handlebars are above. I've changed out both the bottom carriage and the upper carriage. So I have handlebars above the frame now rather than below. The handlebars that the cutie come with have handlebars below this area. And this is just convenience. It makes it a little bit easier for me to do some quilting and be able to film it for you guys. And I also find that I just like the feeling of that a little bit better. And I know a lot of other quilters would like that too. Uh, it also saves you some time because you don't have to roll up the front of the quilt. You can let that hang off the front of the frame too. So here I am on my machine, on my frame, and you can see I have actually drawn in my letters. And the reason is I kind of ran out of space and I want to make sure that I get Betty's whole name on the quilt. So I have some letters here and this is absolutely allowed. You know, if ever you are worried that you're not gonna quilt something right or you're gonna accidentally run out of space, go on ahead and mark it. It's no big deal. Now I wiggled down just a little bit just to give myself space. So that way I would have room to get out of the design. So I'm right there on the B for Betty. I'm gonna wiggle down here. And this is the, the little bit of the struggle that I found with quilting letters. And that is sometimes you end up in unexpected spaces after stitching the letter. So here I'm working on the letter E and I think I'm gonna end up coming out in the middle because I forgot to stitch the little center part and that's okay, no big deal. If you have to travel stitch, that's absolutely allowed too. The wonderful thing about letters is we all know how to stitch them. Well, we know how to draw them, at least. Does, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna stitch them perfectly. And I'm not exactly staying on my marked lines, but I am trying to get this into the space and trying to keep the scale consistent with what I've quilted before. So I'm trying not to bring those lines of quilting too close together, you know, wiggling in, keeping it consistent. Sometimes I might leave some gaps and some spaces open and that's a-okay. So now I'm working my way around this letter T, stitch over, travel stitch back, stitch down, and then now I can wiggle around it. So I'm not 100% happy with how that turned out, but you know, it's good enough. And this is the great thing about free motion quilting and, and practicing any quilting design, is the more you stitch it, the more you practice, the better you're gonna get. And especially marking the design, I know that that turned out a lot better than it would have if I had not marked it. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed seeing how I stitched my little girl's name into her baby quilt. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned a lot and you enjoyed quilting along with me with this alphabet soup design. It is more challenging than I expected and that's a good thing. It's really fun to push that edge and figure out, hey, you know, quilting these letters is not as easy as I thought, but I really, really love how I personalized this quilt. It's got Betty's name on it now. She's gonna know I made it specifically for her. And I think that that's wonderful. It's a great way to add a little extra love, a little extra personalization to your quilts. 
Now I am a Grace Company dealer. So if you are interested in this cutie frame or our cutie complete carriage upgrade, come and check it out at leahday.com slash cutie. This is an awesome little frame for popping your home sewing machine in place, being able to stitch in a small space and being able to make quilting, especially free motion quilting, so much faster, so much easier on your body. So come and check out the cutie frame, leahday.com slash cutie. Until next time, let's go quilt.